got some news for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Part of it's not so surprising news. All, the ha other half of it actually is. I'll explain that in a second. Um, the Timberwolves have fired their head coach, Ryan Saunders. And get this, in addition to this, they replaced him with Toronto Raptors assistant coach, Chris Finch. That's why I find it so, so surprising. And I'll get to why I think that is in just a minute. Um, but this comes after, after um, an 103 and 99 loss to the New York Knicks, and now the Timberwolves, as a result, are seven and 24, which is the worst record in the NBA right now. It's crazy. I mean, this team just can't catch a damn break. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, as a result of that, the um. The Minnesota Timberwolves hired Toronto Raptors assistant coach Chris Finch to be the to be the new head coach, which um, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and this was reported by Wolves, Adrian Wojnarowski, the goat Wolves. You feel me? Um, what well, man, Mario? I'm gonna start off with this one, okay? Because this is very very strange. All right. Well, obviously, best of luck to Ryan Saunders and congratulations to Chris Finch. Obviously, we don't like to see people lose their jobs, and we and you know, obviously, we gotta congratulate those who get a job. Or whatever. I, I I'm I'm confused. I, I gotta be honest, I'm confused. Why would you already have an assistant coach if I'm correct? So why are you gonna go out and hire another like I get it. Like it's very com it, like especially in football, it's common for coaches to get fired. And and even in basketball, some it's actually very common for coaches to get fired in the middle of the season, which I'm not mad about. I'm not really mad about this at all. I'm just really confused. What I'm what I'm confused about is why they went out to hire another coach when you already have an assistant coach to take over as injury. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm getting too far ahead of myself or if I'm just that confused. Because this is something that I've never really seen before. Usually, whenever the coach gets fired, the assistant coach takes over. That's their job. Their the assistant coach's job is to take over the head coach's job. You feel me? They act as the interim coach. And then after that, you know, whatever. I, I, I don't know if I'm getting too far ahead of myself or if this is just that confusing to me, but I, I don't know. I'm just really confused as to why this happened. I'm not I'm not sure what to think of it. I, obviously, I wish both of them the best of luck moving forward, but to me, this is just confusing. Like, why did why did they not trust the already existing assistant coach to go over the team? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a little bit confused by it. I'll, I'll, with that said, you know, I'll give it to you, and I'll just end off by saying good luck to Ryan Saunders and Chris Finch, and congratulations to Chris Finch on his new job. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to take it off from there. You know, good luck to Ryan Saunders in the future, and congratulations to Chris Finch. Um, yeah, Nate, you're, you know what, you're almost, you're, you're, you're accurate, but you're, you're almost on the money, but just not quite. See, here's the thing. It is. It's very. See, here's the thing. You're not. You're not. You're not really tripping at all. You know, like you. You're absolutely right. Usually, when a head coach gets fired in any sport, the assistant uh, coach takes over. Here's why, and you're almost right on the point, but you just didn't mention it. The reason why this is so strange is because a hiring during the season. And yeah, that's, yeah. Over during the season that i never seen in sports i never seen it, it yeah. probably could happen you know if somebody has like examples of when it did please put it down below where a head coach took over during the season but yeah like that's the weird part to me is that a coach is that an assistant coach a coach a new coach is going to take over during the season and one that's not already associated with the franchise you know so that's course, why i'm so confused right so it's it's almost like it's almost like it's weird though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how this was even official, you know, like I really don't because usually this isn't even like, usually I don't even know if this is even allowed to happen that a coach from a different team can just take over during the season. You know, I just don't know. They're on, they're under contract. So I don't even know what that means. Like, you know, now does that mean the Wolves got to pay this contract too? It just doesn't make any sense, you know? And um, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to even like follow up. It's really hard to even like like wonder like how did this e how, like how did this even happen you know how does a coach from a different team end up taking over another team during a season you know it doesn't make any sense it really doesn't usually this would happen once the season ends you know and and I'm not and like I'm not taking nothing away from Chris Finch you know obviously I wish him the best of luck in coaching this team um the uh what do you call it so. Uh, Gresson Rosas, who is the uh, Timberwolves president of basketball operations, he came. He actually said a quote 
regarding uh, Chris, and he said, and I quote, Chris brings a wealth of basketball experience from his time in the NBA G League and internationally. He's one of the most creative basketball minds in the NBA game. And the NBA has successfully maximized players, and I am excited to see him bring our team to the next level and beyond. Rosa said in his statement announcing Finch's uh, hiring. Um, he's expected to begin his job Tuesday against Milwaukee with Saunders uh, coaching staff in place, including associate head coach David Vanderpool. So in many cases, David Vanderpool would have ended up taking over, you know, but in this case, it didn't happen, which I think is very, very strange. Um, now, a little bit of background on Finch. He said uh, he has been the assistant coach for the Rockets, the Denver Nuggets and the New Orleans Pelicans and the Raptors. And he won a G League title with the Rio Grande Valley Vipers in 2010. And Toronto hired Finch, uh, Fitch in the offseason as Nick Nurse's top assistant. So, um, and then Nick Nurse actually came out, uh, came out with his, is this Nick Nurse or is this, um, okay, this is uh, not Nick Nurse. I'm sorry. I'm, I keep saying Nick Nurse. I don't know why. This is uh, Chris Fitch, okay? Chris Fitch is a uh, quote regarding the uh, Timberwolves. He said this. He said, I would like to thank owner Glenn Taylor and Gresson Roses for the incredible opportunity to be the head coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I look forward to working hand in hand with uh, Gerson to build and lead a team that the Timberwolves fans will be proud of. We have excellent pieces in place and I cannot wait to get to work. Um, yeah, so I think it's very strange, you know, I think it's very strange to hire a, a coach in the middle of the season to take over, you know. I just think it's very strange if that coach is not a part of the franchise. But regardless of all that, I just want to say good luck to Chris Finch on, uh, you know, having success with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Good luck to Ryan Saunders on whatever, wherever his coaching career might lead him to next. And I look forward to it.